to five happening right now. Clayton County investigators are digging for more information after a young father is killed in his own front yard. The crime playing out in a quiet neighborhood at a home on Redland Drive. CBS 46's Adam Murphy is live there at the scene and Adam family members. Well, they told you this all started as an argument between two neighbors. It's a really sad situation. That is right. And let me tell you something. Clayton County Police removed the crime tape and left the scene a short while ago. However, the investigation into what happened out here is far from over. Clayton County Police responded to a person down call on Redland Drive Wednesday morning. And when they arrived, they found the body of 22-year-old Bradley Reynolds May lying in the front yard of a home. They say they was all over a trash can. As police searched the area, they encountered a man inside the window of a home who refused to come out. SWAT was called in and they brought the man out unharmed. It's uncertain if he had anything to do with the victim's death. He left too early too soon, man. And you know what I'm saying? He have a baby, just had his little baby, loved him to death. The family of Bradley Reynolds May told CBS 46 their loved one was killed after getting into an argument with a neighbor. He had just become a father. When they called my sister, they told her that he was unpacking stuff for her and the baby when they come and visit. And he got into it with the neighbors. And then the neighbors shot him. They said this morning they found him shot in the head. The pain runs deep for the mother of May's child. Her sister shared this message for her. When I met him, I was in a very bad place. And he took me out of it. And he made me want to do better for myself. He was a very motivated person. We didn't always have good days, but I would trade our moments for anything. And I'm grateful he blessed me with a part of him before he left us. I will always love Bradley. He will always hold a spot in my heart. And at last check, police are still looking for the weapon used in this killing. And they tell us they've not had any other calls out to this particular address here in the past that would have created some sort of suspicion or led them to the understanding of what really went wrong out here. We're going to stay on top of these developments for now, though, live on Redland Drive in Clayton County. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.